What can you explain to them about the uh, specificity of the Russian market uh, that have transformed the Russian market in in the consumer sense of the word and uh, and all the others? Uh, well, it, it, from the consumer standpoint, it's uh, it's funny how you come to Paris, for example, and you are uh, appalled uh, seeing uh, shops closed on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, but in terms of your sector. Uh, uh, what, what do you think? Well, in my first presentation, I said that uh, if we should talk about the internet sector that you mentioned, that it turned out to be the biggest uh, among uh, European uh, countries. Uh, it's, it's very much based on the fact that uh, the information technology and the internet is reaching the majority of households uh, and Yandex and uh, mail.ru uh, are now competing in the marketplace, which is worth about $7 billion, which is a huge number. Just a few years ago, you, can, you could only dream about reaching uh, such heights. Um, uh, if you just try to talk about this particular phenomena, a phenomenon, uh, how these countries evolved, uh, there are not so many countries in the world, among them Russia and, uh, and China, by the way. Uh, there are just a few countries in the world in the world that uh, manage to protect their local markets from the dominance of uh, transnational uh, multinational corporations like Google, for example. Uh, this has been allowed by uh, uh, the human potential, uh, the brain potential uh, that is present, and probably some local uh, features like the Cyrillic alphabet or uh, the specificity of Asian uh, languages, uh, all that has made an impact. The question is, uh, to what extent can these companies become real, really global players? And uh, how do they uh, go about uh, confronting that challenge? Uh, because, again, it's not a one-way street. We have uh, touched on the issues of uh, visas, and, uh, for example, so it's a two-way street, uh, but a huge potential that Russian economy still has uh, in the sectors that I'm responsible for. Uh, it's uh, telling us that uh, these uh, these companies will continue to grow, and uh, these markets are the most attractive markets in terms of the consumer base, uh, in terms of operatorship business. Uh, we are. Uh, uh, now on the rise, and whereas in the telecommunications, I think we have reached a, a certain level of saturation, uh, but in terms of uh, payment features uh, and similar things, uh, they are now on the rise, and we can see that from the number of transactions that are taking place and when uh, people are talking about the Russian market being monopolized, going back to your earlier question, uh, very often it's based on the fact uh, that uh, the media and public relations activity of major transactions uh, uh, outweighs the potential of uh, 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 advertising campaigns for smaller uh, transactions. But in terms of the number, uh, the number of uh, relatively small transactions or transactions involving smaller, uh, smaller entities is uh, absolutely uh, huge. And, uh, we are seeing this in a number of uh, business sectors. Um, and I think in this respect, Russian Federation is very attractive uh, at this stage for uh, this story of uh, transactions, for uh, this story of uh, business deals, uh, and the focus on the protection of intellectual property rights uh, is also uh, going to be another building block.